Yo, kusa unakama to another video. Today's video is gonna be really, really special. As this is my ultimate Mia Shanks theory. And how does Guardian Fairland play a huge role in the relationship between Shanks and Mia? So make sure to watch the video till the end and give this video a like if you like One Piece and One Piece related content. But before anything else, I can clear that this is just a theory. There is no canon proof to support my statements. All of my statements are based on speculations based on the recent chapters in movies. So don't take it too seriously. And with that said, let's start the video. So first of all, let's talk about the relationship between Guardian Fairyland and Shanks. So if you follow the One Piece community very closely, you must know that there is a huge, huge amount of people that think Guardian Fairyland is the father of Shanks. And this is going to be the first point of my theory that Shanks is actually the son of Garling Figureland. But now you may ask why did Garling abandon Shanks instead of taking him to the Marijuas and train him as a holy knight. So I have a pretty simple reason that Garling didn't want Shanks to become a celestial dragon dog just like he himself is right now. He wanted Shanks, his own son, to live as freely as possible. Meanwhile, he himself accepted to become a holy knight to ensure that the world government does not go after his son. Now, this is a far-fetched speculation, but after all, this is just a theory. So the first point is clear, Guardian is the father of Shanks and he abandoned Shanks with a very good reason. Now, let's talk about the lineage of Mihawk. So the second point of my theory is, Mihawk is the son of former Holy Knight Commander, the one that was holding the position before Guardian Fairyland. Maybe in the God Valley incident, Mihawk's father, the supposed Captain Commander of the Holy Knights before Guardian Fairyland, fought in the God Valley and died. And at that time, Mihawk must be 4 years old, because at that time, Shanks was just an infant and Mihawk is 4 years older than Shanks, so Mihawk's age shouldn't be more than 4-5 to five years. Also, Mihawk and Shanks share the same birth date. So now that Mihawk's father has died in the God Valley incident and Garling Fairyland had joined the Holy Knight, maybe Garling took in Mihawk and trained him as a swordsman. Guardian must have trained Mihawk until he was appointed as the commander of Holy Knights and once Guardian was appointed as the commander of Holy Knights, Mihawk set out to the sea to fight even stronger opponents and get the title of World's Strongest Swordsman. And now, let me ask you, what's the way to become the World's Strongest Swordsman? It's easy, you either defeat all the swordsmen in the world or you defeat the strongest current swordsman in the world. And I think in Mihawk's young age, Rogers should have been the most strongest swordsman in the whole world and Mihawk was aiming to beat Roger, but unfortunately, before Mihawk could find and fight Roger, he was executed. And now that Roger is dead, Mihawk's dream to become the world's strongest swordsman by defeating the current strongest swordsman has been shattered. And now Mihawk has to follow the long route and defeat all the swordsmen in the world. But little did Mihawk knew that Shanks is the inheritor of Roger's power. Yeah, I know Luffy is the real inheritor of Roger's will, but the will, that is the ambition and power are two different things. And we know Shanks has all the qualities that Roger had and he could have been the new Roger. So maybe when Mihawk fought Shanks for the first time, he might have found an actual worthy rival. And this would be a really, really great dynamic between Shanks and Mihawk because Mihawk is the man who inherited the power and the skills of Garlin Fairyland, that is the father of Shanks, and Shanks inherited the skills and power of Roger, that is the role model of Mihawk. And now, let me give you some more extra information about my theory. So, I think that Mihawk is the celestial dragon and from a family that is really, really high in the ranks because he has the same eyes as Emo. So, maybe Mihawk is related to Emo in some way and that's why he had the privilege to train with the Holy Knights. Next thing is, if Garling is capable of being the Holy Knight and the protector of Eye of Endless, why did he not defeat Rocks at Garth Valley and couldn't protect his country? So, the reason is pretty simple. Garling was alone and he was attacked by Rocks pirates. And if you're a One Piece fan, you must know who are the members of Rock's Pirates. And no individual in the whole One Piece series can take on the whole Rock's Pirates alone. And it's not a theory, it's just a fact. So when the Battle of God Valley took place, and when Roger and Garp fought Rocks, maybe Guarding Fairyland fought Whitebeard. And that would explain how Whitebeard got his scar and why does he say to Shanks that the scars itch when I see your face and it reminds me of that person who gave me these scars. So even though it's a really far-fetched theory, it has some sense. Tell me in the comments, do you like this theory? Tell me in the comments if you have any theories of your own. Thanks for watching, subscribe for One Piece and other anime related content and see you in the next one.